What's up everybody, I'm the Reformed Piper and today I am doing a VR to Parsimonious Piper. And yes, I just looked up what that was earlier, realizing I am also very parsimonious, parsimonious? As well. Anyway, if you don't know what that is, go look it up because I'm not going to tell you, but I uh, may consider myself frugal, I should say. Anyway, uh, his question was, where did you find your taste when you first started smoking a pipe? Uh, what did you like? Did you like English? Virginia is more burly based. Well, my response is connoisseur English blend. When I first started smoking a pipe, I actually only had like a cigar. It was for my best friend's bachelor party. And I was like, yep, I'm gonna smoke a pipe with him or cigar with him for the first time I've ever tried anything. With that said, we went to a place called Tinderbox in Columbus close by to where I'm located. And they had this right here. And this is actually what I have left of this precious little tobacco. Anyway, um, so I was thinking about smoking this today as I talked about how my tastes have evolved, but that would be silly. So I'm just gonna chuck that back there. And right here, I have my Savinelli 606 Arcabanello green colored KS bowl. And that's what I only smoke that in that way. I don't get any weird ghosting. I want the purest flavor from that uh, blend right there. What I do have here is this. This was the classic Virginia. Who knows what it is? It was in a jar they had. It's been renamed, rebranded, some type of basic Virginia. Lighter, therefore you get more bang for your buck is what they said. Well, I have had a distaste for this and I have not opened this in like over a year. I started smoking a pipe back, uh, what was that, it been June, 2019? So it's been a little over a year and I've yet to crack it. I remember it smelled really earthy and that's what I really liked about it. For the most part where my tastes are today, I find myself really enjoying um, some more aromatic blends with also English um, heavy uh, coatings. I haven't had too much experience with the Burley myself. Um, I know I've made some reviews and talked about it some in the past, but I find usually about the next day or so, I have a really strong Burley taste still in my mouth that just lingers. So I don't know if that's just a cheap blend, if that's kind of part of what you get with Burley, but that's what I've experienced. So I figured why not go and smoke the worst blend I've ever had again and see if it's changed in a year of cellaring. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up. And I do say I have not seen too many of your videos for Parsimonious Piper, but I do plan on checking out some more because I have liked what I've seen so far. And also, if you didn't know, I'm having a VR and he just made a VR for me. So uh, if you have not seen that, go check that video out. I'm planning on doing it, I haven't decided till when, but sometime at the end of the month of November into December, I will be doing a drawing for my giveaway. That way, it'll be a nice holiday cheer. So this classic Virginia, well, what am I doing? Didn't even smell it. Hmm. It smells a little sweeter actually this year but uh, a little less earthy almost, it's kind of weird. But we'll see how it, how it goes. I am running low on fuel, so once this is lit, I will let you guys know. Huh. If I didn't mention, it's really windy. We, some storm came through here and I put my uh, umbrella down because it was really blowing around. Cleanse the palate with a little bit of a uh, Jim Beam. Hmm. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually kind of enjoying it. It almost has like a little bit of a nutty, grassy, light but sweet flavor. Definitely not a leftover from the Jim Beam I just had, the sweetness. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how a uh, pipe can just take away your thought and completely make you forget what you were talking about? So, to answer where I'm currently at, I guess I'm starting to like some just basic Virginias without a bunch of coatings or anything like that. So, it's kind of all over the place, and to be honest, I haven't smoked a pipe too much. 
this year in general. This summer was just a hard, busy summer to smoke pipe. <laughs> busy summers I've had. It's crazy, even with COVID. Or the unnamed virus, shall I say. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is no longer to be in the corner of my uh, cabinet because it's actually quite delectable. So for me, I will have another video coming up here soon, just going over my gaw a little bit more, what the tobaccos I'll be giving away in it are, um, what I have in regards of the actual pipes and the official day that I will be aiming for, aiming for <laughs> to do the drawing. Uh, and I'll let you guys know when it gets closer. But yes, if you yourself have not heard of Possumonius Piper, go check him out his channel. There'll be a link down below in the description. And let him know where you started when you started smoking a pipe and what you enjoyed to what you enjoy now. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day.